Hello, welcome back Hola. everyone to the second stream, the second second three hours of Armchair Admirals. Get into your armchairs, uh, get your gin, and um, why not share with us the joys of nuclear war Hooray! in Civilization I Five. War. Mm. I love nukes. Nukes are Unless the they're aimed at me, then so, they're um, bad. I like nukes. It's fortified. Nukes are fun. I'm um, currently playing as France, Napoleonic mm -hmm. France. Of course, we began in Danopolis. Uh, we expanded to our neighboring area, but then we had a big empire. Napoleon led, led us to take over the pacifist. Um, can't even remember what they were, really, and was playing as. Does anyone remember? Nope, no one remembers. Oh, wow, I can't remember. Exactly. And then I took over <laughs> Shin, who was Babylon. He wow. only had two cities. He wasn't very good at the game. He had three, didn't he? <laughs> no. He had some serious science. He had some real science going on. Look mm. at all these science things that were going on back then. But yeah. now, Yeah, I actually tried to burn those down before you took them. Oh. He doesn't know what he's doing. Could oh, have well, easier, doesn't it? Um, it takes a couple of turns to raise them. That's a bit of a troll, Ben. Mm. He wouldn't do such a thing. Would you no, to no, a friend? No. How could I? To a friend, indeed. Uh, and then, obviously, I'm joined by Ben, who is Hello. playing as... Uh, Japan. 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 The lovely lands of Japan. I settled my lands. I had a big, pointless war with Duncan, at which point we decided to stop warring and be super friends. <laughs> um, and we never warred again. We fought over the Barringer Crater in Arbiter, mm. which... I decided it was a, such a shit city that I just kind of let them have it you back. Liberated it. So no, we, no one actually got the Banja Crater. No, because it's a bit, mm. bit garbage because it's just tundra lands. Look Decent, at that. There's yeah. oil there now, though. Didn't know that thousands of years no, ago. No, we didn't. No. In the Double sea. Double oil, in fact. I always get a bit iffy about these oil graphics because it just looks like it's pouring into the ocean, which is never a good thing. That's how they do it, right? It just squirts yeah. like a geyser that squirts out of the... And then they come <laughs> along with fishing nets. <laughs> yeah. Scoop it up. Scoop it up in buckets. And sometimes they have to use a penguin. Dip you've the got penguin in. Yeah. Then, then wipe it's, the penguin off. You've got to, otherwise... And dip it back in. Birds are the best way to pick up oil, because mm. otherwise you get lots of seawater in your oil, exactly. which is not what like you want. Yeah. Them. And then some volunteers at Greenpeace will just come along and clean them up yeah, for you. Yeah, and, you and then you dip them the in again. Yeah. A unit Aha. was killed. Sploosh! I splooshed you. Oh, it's world leader vote, guys. Splooshed Lewis has 12 votes now. Vote for yourself. You got to vote for yourself, yeah. No cheating, Duncan. Me? None. I'm the biggest advocate of not of, of voting for yourself. Don't cheat. Yeah, Duncan. Duncan I've lost more games himself. than anyone else due to that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Fine, I'm moving back, Deltos. I won't attack Thank you. you. How about that? There will be Thank peace. You. Peace in our time. How about peace in our time? Do you like peace? I'll consider it. Will you give him choco peace? You can't do peace, Delta. It's not at this point. What can you guys do? What, what are you going to do if you don't? If you peace, what's your plan? I have no idea what you two are doing. I feel like I'm fine. Well, I'm still alone. fighting Lewis around Master Yi. Ben, what you what abandoned? You I'm trying to nuke Lewis. I'm building a. I'm building a carrier soon, and I'll get some fighters on it, so we can actually defend against his bombers on the mainland. And then we can try for Master Yi again, or maybe another one. Hmm. We need to combine our navies again. Make a super navy. So Deltos, you want to get some carriers and some fighters. That's going to help a lot. And some destroyers and subs to protect them. I feel like we should just be peppering some of his coastal cities, not just necessarily... As soon as, we, as soon as we get anywhere near them, we get bombed. So you need fighters on the carriers to protect against the bombers. Also, his coastal cities are, like, not, not great. All right, let's start building a fleet, then. I, th I assumed you were. I'm always building a fleet. Good. That's all he's doing. Yeah, it's, it's perpetual <laughs> fleet. We should have our Battle of Trafalgar... We've already had a few of those. Get our, yeah, true. <laughs> I don't remember there being submarines at Trafalgar, though. But what would I know? I wasn't there. Are there. A few. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You weren't there! And how would they have known if there was subs there or not? They didn't have, like, sonar. Yeah. yeah. They you, had you goggles could, on. You could time travel a, um, a sub back to the back. Maybe that's what it was, what won it. Secret time traveling submarine altering the course of history. It was Admiral Nelson just did something crazy that no one expected. Well, he thought. That's why he won. <laughs> but what if, like, you know, all the ships he thought he was Sub. blowing away with his clever strat would just had already been subbed? Wow, my cannonballs are really hitting these. <laughs> yeah, you, you would. You wouldn't go, is this my amazing plan or is it time traveling future boat? <laughs> well, <laughs> general, I guess that at one point in time. The world's been around long enough. I watched, um, have you ever watched Exerbia? No. He's oh, um, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, he's a YouTuber who makes, like, goofy videos about, like, science and philosophy and stuff. Um, He's quite fun. Yeah, if, he is fun. If, if, if a bit depressed, I worry yes, about he's a him. Bit, he's a bit depressed and you should worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. But he's good. He, he, does, he does fun stuff. He and, is um, fun. I like him. And he just released a video like a week or two ago. Like if you travelled back in time, 
how you could use your your future knowledge to like conquer the world. Yeah. I mean, this is a question and, um, that we've all thought about. We have thought about yeah, it. Yeah. We've talked about it a lot on here, like about like, you know, if you could take back, you know, one piece of technology to like Roman times or whatever, could you conquer the world? An iPad. Yeah, boom. Well, that'd be one of the worst things you could take. Yeah. Because it would last about four hours You'd and then no turn internet off. And no for one internet. Thing. I could play Fruit Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Until you contracted you dysentery. Could take, you could bring one of those uh, battery chargers that's solar powered, I guess. Keep it going. I'm playing a, a Civ game with, around that gimmick. The gimmick is you, as the player, are a time traveling um, You're a guy from the future, controlling this um, this sieve. Mm. What you do is you pop back for like a week every year. Did you just sneak off with that destroyer? No, you fucking sunk it. Did you sneak? Oh man, I just sent like a land unit over to find your sub. There it is. It's all day, my right. force is sunken. Um, cool. Yes, yeah, so that's the gimmick. You are you, you play that... Civ as Lewis Brindley, right? Right. And you go back, you go back in time, you establish your like secret headquarters, right? And you go back in time for a week once a year to check up on how your like plan's going. And you mm -hmm. set yourself up as like a mythical god king with your future knowledge and future tech. Mm -hmm. And that way you get to live through the whole of like history in oh, your you can lifetime. Bet on chariot races that you know already won. <laughs> like I know the greens one. one I think time. it's risky gambling. Go back in time and gambling is risky because there'll probably be someone that's pissed off and will just murder you. Yeah, but like, how does he yeah, know this? That's true. Fucking odds are crazy. But you Fucking could go back send, and like, 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 send a squad against you, just just kill you. And be like, oh, I knew because I'm from the future. <laughs> yeah, and mafias control all like <laughs> yeah, the gamblers, yeah. right? So like, that's, that's just, not the way to fucking it. ice you. But you no, think, you oh just, yeah, you make loads of money on a gamble, but like. Yeah, that's not someone, sustainable. Someone is gonna. Someone is gonna. No, you just you. you find out where an undiscovered gold ore vein is, yeah. and buy the land when it's worth nothing or something like that. You know. Um, yeah. But anyway, what, what do you think about that as a game gimmick? How does it work? Though? Like, like one of us is super teched up. And how do you how do you get stay, the, the, the tech well. on that one person? What do you mean? No, it's like Civ, but you're the reason why you're controlling the Civ is that you're. This guy who directs, he comes back one day a year to tell everyone what to do and then fucks off again. Comes back another year later, checks up on what everyone's doing. How would that, how would that translate into an actual game, though? That you'd basically have, like, less direct micromanagement control over your sieve. And you'd be, like, just kind of giving, like, broader... Well, like... Build a mine here, trust me. <laughs> In <laughs> yeah. 500 years, there's going to be aluminium there. <laughs> Yeah, and you could, like, <laughs> tell them, you know, spend your time building steam power now. I've, this is how steam power works. I don't know. I haven't thought it all the way through. I just, that video made me think that would be a good gimmick for a 4X game. Mm. Oh, you mean, like, make a new game based around that? Oh, yeah, not oh, like... Oh, okay. I thought yeah. you meant, like, we should play a Civ game based around this. No, no, no. Okay. I just I meant, like... like how's that going to work? <laughs> because the problem with 4X games is if you make them sci-fi or fantasy... It's hard to give a shit about them because yeah. you're just mining zorbium ore to build a nitron super neutronium thing. Totally. I'd, I'd like a kind of alternate history or alternate technology type history game. Kind of like Red Alert, right? So it's like, it's like oh, history, okay. but you've also got like crazy shit. That, like a steampunk kind of thing. Yeah. Like like, a... So you're still like, you know, basically the same. You're still like got musketeers and shit, but you've also got like... I don't know, something else. Dragons. Uh, I honestly don't like dragons in Game of Thrones. I don't like dragon glass. I usually hate it when fantasy writers make their own, like, I, like mineral. Unobtainium. But isn't it yeah. just, um, <laughs> I thought dragon glass was just obsidian. But yeah, but you know what I mean. It's like, I think it's different. Though, it's, it? It's, it happens in a bunch of fantasy novels where they go for, like, the dark steel. That's his dark steel armor. And... Mm. What, what's, what's, what do you like about that? I don't like it. It's hokey. I like fantasy grounded a little bit more in reality. And then like when the unreality happens, it's like more impactful. You're like, oh, damn. Damn. Damn, son. We've got Lord steel. of the Rings was like that. Lord of the Rings was really brutal. And like they barely flash magic in it. And when they That's did, true. it was like cool. Boom. <laughs> It's like them apples. Not a fan of them apples, Ben. They had like, the, the seeing glasses, like the, the things that could see like all the different different places. Mm. There's, there's tons of magic in Lord of the Rings. There is, but it's like parsed out. 
You know, they got the fucking swords that glow when orcs come near. Yeah, but that's kind of just that doesn't actually affect Hard anything, does it? Yeah. Those are really unique things in the Lord of the Rings universe. The rest of the people slog through regular shit every day. In some fantasy novels, they go over. Things you never really see the normal foot slogging people in in Lord of the Rings. You absolutely do. Bree. Uh, you see like a few in Bree, and you see, I guess you see a few in like um, Minas Tirith, but that's kind of it. Now, the only people well, you really see in Rohan are the important people. You don't see like fucking Ted the, the stable Steve? man or whatever. Like. Had the stable man was <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lord of the Rings is very much. Did you even watch the second movie if you think Ted the stable man was important? <laughs> no, you just got to see him shit in his pants on Elm's yeah. Deep, and that was it. Yeah, that was very integral. It was magical shit. Oh, damn. Dun- fucking Lewis got an atomic bomb. Who? Lewis. Yeah, we've and all he got moved it. We all got him. We all got atomic bombs, Dallas. Where did he move it to? Where did he put it? I think I've cleaned out Lewis's coastal defenses, but I can't be sure. There's no way to tell, is there? Mm. This is going to be a stupid bunch of YouTube comments yelling at me, and there's going to be a Reddit post saying there is magic in Lord of the Rings. People, no shit. Someone's trying to argue that Aragorn is a regular guy. He's not a fucking he's regular not. guy. He's like a 150-year-old <laughs> super guy. <laughs> he's not a hundred. He's a Numenorian, so he's got a longer life, but he still just rocks it with a sword. He doesn't yeah, He's like magic the king in hiding. He's not a fucking random peasant. Yeah, he's like <laughs> the fucking... He's got the blood of Vasildor in his veins. Yeah. He's like a special it's guy. It's like trying to say Luke yeah, exactly. Skywalker he is just a normal just guy. Just because he had to walk over doesn't make him like, any less special. He's, like, he's, people's swords. he's a superhero, basically. I'm really worried he's going to nuke all of us if we run over the Master Yi. What, nuke the ships? Yeah. Because if he nukes the ships, he'll end up hitting Master Yi, then we can just send a destroyer and take it out. I like that. Let's do it. Things if we take, the problem is if we take Master Yi, he's just going to take it back. He's got a huge army. No. It slows him down. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> the ships not have anti-army guns? But Lewis actually said mm. a word for the last 10 minutes. Nah. No, I'm, I can't <laughs> see anything. I have to be so vigilant. You guys have like slowly nipped away at me on both sides and worked to pen me in. It's I tough when I fight 3v1, you know. Do you, you expect speak- me to like fucking like give yes. you a fucking like operatic... Fucking speech. That'd be nice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd like that. I, can, like, I think I've paid attention to this game for like five turns. No, well, maybe you should. You should. <laughs> well, you mean, you mean, what do you mean? You <laughs> just press fucking end turn and maybe you will. That's the hard Jesus thing. Jesus Christ. Like you can't things. complain about finish. that if you haven't fucking clicked end turn. In every fantasy novel, no one ever says fucking a lot. People say That's that true. constantly. That's You're very unrealistic. Super unrealistic. I hate that. Why don't people swear more? They, people <laughs> make no sense. That's the thing. But like, um, they have their own words, though, be, didn't they? Like, advertisers want family friendly streams without cursing. You know how my kids curse and <laughs> the variety of curse words they know? You ask because, maybe it's because of the streams. Yeah, it's, you're not <laughs> hiding it from the kids. By the time they hit five, they've already heard their, their parents say fuck enough that they know it. They whisper <laughs> to each other. <laughs> You know how much we curse around our toddlers? Like, that's part of the lexicon. They have to know that. Do you think, I wonder if it's worth, like, you know how, like, Battlestar Galactica and other, like, TV shows make up their own fake swear words? Mm. I wonder if you should do the same when you've got kids. Or for the Yogg's cast, maybe. Make up Yogg's swear words. Oh, we could make up Yogg's swear words that we can, like, stream with. Yeah. Yeah. Get that family-friendly money. (laughs) Boom! Oh, you nuked me! No, 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 no! <laughs> what got nuked? Um, Lewis's capital. Oh, oh shit! Boom! Shit! Can I move up? Can you take now? it now? Wow, you got close enough. How did you get close enough? It's like twelve. Can... It's like a twelve range. It's pretty high. Is it there? Stuff That's your carrier. Oh my god, your stuff's not even dead. You missed oh, all his troops. How did it move? Well, I had no vision. I just it. had to blind fire it. Oh, I didn't. I, like I didn't think that. it actually did anything. Oh, what, what do you mean? What, apart from taking oh. my capital from so fucking at like 30 one. down to 10. <laughs> yeah, it didn't oh, right. do anything. I don't, see, I don't think it did anything. Do you think I it did anything? I was looking at the other cities. Does anyone else see it do anything? <laughs> 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 but um. Ben, I was spying on that city. You could have hurt him. Well, you know, <laughs> it, could have warned it was very me. well aimed. <laughs> it warned me, man. Why do you think I've been fucking so quiet? That's how I've been the... expecting this to come, and I've been trying to defend against it. Oh. 
Oh. What do you mean blind fire? You know where my fucking capital is. You just have to click on its fucking yeah, title. Yeah, but Dalton was complaining I didn't kill all the units next to your capital. Well, there aren't any. <laughs> right, well, that's why I didn't kill them, Dalton. There's enough. <laughs> I just didn't quite have enough vision to see your carrier when it came in. I could see the, the yeah. tank that you brought. With you. Why oh, you bring a tank? Oh, I just needed... I had, I'd run out of boats and I needed something to go forward to, like, look for subs. <laughs> it's like a sub-sweeper of transports <laughs> as a decoy <laughs> to make sure that the carrier doesn't run into subs. Ooh, that was tight. Because I was actually one square away from your capital. I couldn't hit the capital directly. But I didn't want to risk getting any closer because I knew you had a bunch of bombers on the in your cities. Right. So I just caught you with, like, the AoE of the nuke. Oh, that's horrible. Well, I nuked you back. I nuked the cab, but you moved it. Yeah, it was a hit and run. It was like a drive-by nuking. It was. It's, it's kind of good that you can actually, you know, move a fucking carrier tons of tiles and then drop the nuke and then run it back tons of tiles. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of bullshit, it's, it's right? pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty good. The thing is, I guess, uh, is the idea that the atomic bomb is on a plane... Yeah, it's like a long-range bomber. So it's really like high-up bomber, so like you can't be shot by anti-air and stuff. Yeah, right. God, salt, salt is real. I told you I was going to give you that that petty vengeance bomb. That wasn't a petty vengeance bomb. That was a fucking bomb in my capital. There's no fucking vengeance, but petty vengeance in that. Yeah, but it's not going to win me the game. See, I it? thought that fighters would yeah. give me vision, so I bought a fighter. Yes, I thought the same thing, and it didn't give. It's not giving me any no, vision. No, my fighter's not giving me vision either. There must be other Civ games we're getting Is there a button with. you press to make it give you vision? No, I thought there was like a go look button, but um, there apparently not? there's not. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> what are you nuking now? <laughs> Fuck. You nuke. Oh, over there. I nuked his, um, mm. his coastal city. Because I think all aircraft in the nuke range immediately die. They do. I just lost five bombers <laughs> and an assault yes. bomb. <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> Boom. Carrier's dead. Fuck. Well, your carrier. What did you kill me with? I had a secret battleship hiding behind my carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm back in the game, boys. Oh, that's boom, fucking boom. Sucks. Right, Dallas, I'm going to nuke Master Yi ne start next turn, and then we can go in with our ships, okay? Oh, I'm not in range to shoot this bomb. It's kind of frustrating. Well, be a few turns, Dallas. A few turns. It's fine. For what? For, For nuke. nuke number three. Wapa. Wapa. I move a thing into the range for a half second and it gets bombed. I know. What are you even looking at? He's, he's, oh, he he you? was obviously watching just there. I was bombing your city. And you no, but just... you're incredibly aware of, of... Well, if he was already bombing yeah. something on the, in, while looking at it, like... That is bad yeah, he was like looking at it. I moved it, and he clicked that like super quick because he saw it move. Deltos. Yes. I'm sorry to let you know this, but you're the only one I can nuke. <laughs> 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 oh, so uh, I need you to fuck. switch sides again. <laughs> Don't do it, Deltos. Don't worry, I'm trying to think how I can win this thing game. Is he's not in, in range of your capital. They've Deltos. Me in. He's not in range of your capital. I, I will worry. be very no, soon. He won't be. Um, so if he, yeah. if he can hit your capital, he can hit any of us. I'm kind of intimidated. You should be because I'm gonna fucking do it. We're like, gonna drop more nukes influence. on Lewis than he's gonna drop on you. Yeah, just three of us mind. building nukes. Well, but you're not gonna win the game once you've been nuked. I'm gonna burn so. my nukes on both sides. <laughs> we will nuke you. If do you, it, I'll if, nuke you. <laughs> Lewis might nuke you once or twice, but if oh, oh if, you if, you, us, if you betray us, we will nuke you so many more times than Lewis will. <laughs> so many more. <laughs> well, but I love my allies. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Dantos, I've got like actual fucking ways to fight, but he like, he's desperate. This is desperation he's, ploy. He's clutching for desperate. straws here. Carriers are kind of fun. Carriers are a lot of fun, but very mm. click intensive. Mm. Kind of puts me off. Heavy click load. Yeah, they have high not, click. That's load. not really what this game is meant to be about. That's the problem. I know. That's what bothers me yeah. most about multiplayer is the high intensity clickathon. It's it about deep strategy, game. but yeah. when you when you play multiplayer, it's just who's got the fastest computer or something. It's who can click before the turn ends. It's also super stressful to like, okay, I've got a million and one things to do, but like this, uh, there's a battle over here, and if I don't move first yeah. there, I'm going to lose a unit. And oh, it's it's actually single player Civ is the most chill game in the world, and multiplayer Civ is like the fucking most intense game in the world. <laughs> it is intense. The only thing is that single player Civ is the most boring game in the world too. Yeah, because once you get past the 
beginning stages are like, fuck well, the, off, The AI is just, just not fun yeah, to play against. The AI is so bad. And if it's not bad, it cheats so much that mm. it's not fun to play. You have to do like a specific build order in, in order to win. And it's just like, yeah, fuck yeah. that. But there's people out there who beat it on the hardest mode in like 40 turns. Really? I've, I've done that. Yeah, 40 I've done, turns? I did an achievement. I don't know. There was an achievement for it. Win the game before uh, 240 BC with Alexander because that's when he died. What you do is you oh, load up um, a game. You load up a tiniest map with a one AI. Oh, and, <laughs> and then, then you just rush them. <laughs> Get them. Yeah. You just build like eight units. Do you know what you can rush actually them. do? You can actually load up a game with zero computer players and then you win as soon as you load the game. Huh. Oh, Got him. smart. Tough, tough amazing to get play. Them. Very few have the head cheat. 